Okay, hello people. Um, this is basically a video about building a working, simple, very simple actually, uh, helicopter, whatever you want to call it. I call it a plane, but it's not really a plane. Basically, it's a very, very, very maneuverable uh, craft that's very easy to make and you can even transform it into a bomber and make it more complicated to be even more maneuverable. Um, so you, you really have a lot of uh, choices when building this. So basically what I did is uh, I made, I have this here, uh, that's the most simple plane that I have here. So basically this is um, the kind of uh, prototype I've been working around. Um, so as you see, it's very fast. Well, it's not very fast uh, right now, but as you can see, it's very small. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of things to be done to make it. And I'll show you around of uh, how precise it can be at flying and everything. So obviously, um, it's going to be easier if you put on slow motion. You can do a lot of things with this plane. Uh, I can even do a controlled backflip just to show you how maneuverable it is. Um, it's, it's not very hard to make. It's just about binding the right uh, things to the right place and having the right design. Uh, for this, uh, for me, this has worked the most. Uh, so, I'll begin making this for you people. So you see the design here, it's fairly simple. Uh, although keen binding was the most, uh, well I had to discover it before I even used it. But um, basically all these are bound to a key. And I'm flying these with O, which is the normal button. So basically I'm flying this with the arrows and O. So, I'm gonna make another prototype. Just make a new one. Just delete everything. Okay. First off, take a normal wooden block and do this here on every side. Now, I'm gonna put this here on the top. One there, there there and there then use these blocks to make kind of a just place where the others will be put it's kind of a counterbalance as well uh, I found it worked better like that put a flying block on each one of those and you're pretty much done. That's the entire prototype. So what you're gonna do is go here in Key Mapper, click on this, and then flying speed you're gonna turn that up to 125 or 1.25 times for each one of the flying blocks. There you go. Now, you're going to do the same thing with these, except uh, this one is going to be the back one. That's going to be the one that uh, puts your machine into a position backwards. That's going to be the one that pushes, uh, that makes your machine go forward. Same for the sides. It all works the same way. So this is going to be right, I mean left. This is going to be right. This is going to be up all 125 so when you got that uh, put your machine on the ground it's always a safe place to start it because uh, otherwise it, you might uh, break propellers or do something then uh, all you have to do is press space fly with O and I think I missed something oh of course, it's because this one was also mapped as O. So, 
put this as down. There we go. Now we got a fully working machine. There you go. Now, uh, if you actually want to make this a bomber to uh, basically make everything bombing easier, uh, what I recommend doing is removing this, um, then you can use a holder in the middle right here. You can use a bomb inside here, or you can use a flaming ball for whatever opportunity you're trying to create. And then the spike ball is optional, but I just prefer it like that. Obviously, you put your machine on the ground so that this does not happen again. And then, you can just drop the bomb wherever you want. I'll show you people what it actually does. Uh, I can just gather all these guys around, make this explode, do whatever. Right. So that's kind of a cool thing that you can do with this, uh, prototype here. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is um, basically what you can do if you add some more rotors. You can make the machine more maneuverable uh, in general. So what you want to do is go into the flying block, put one here and one here. Now you're going to go into key mapper, put this 0.75 and put this I because it's going to make your machine turn to the left. Then, you want to do the same thing, but for the other side. One here, and one here. Use the key mapper to do flying speed, the 75, as well as this is going to be P. There you go. Now, what's gonna happen is uh, you you basically have uh, three keys on your keyboard that are not uh, arrows that you use. It's gonna be I, O, and P. And you basically turn your plane around with uh, I and P. Then you can control the others as well. So you can make uh, your plane kinda just go around like here and do some crazy stuff. So it might just look stupid right now, but it does add some, uh, well, I guess one way you could use it is, uh, if you're in the wrong direction and you don't really want to use your keys backwards, like this here, if I want to go that way, I'm going to have to press back. Well, all you can do is just go here, rotate, and then you're back to the right way. So that's kind of a cool thing to have, these um, spinning things that we just added. So I think that's going to be it for the tutorial. It's a very simple machine that you can do, and um, to transform this as a bomber, it's basically the same principle. You just remove this here put a holder, put a spike ball down here, put a bomb, and it's ready to fly. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to sub. It helps out a lot. Also, um, if you have any suggestions on what I could be building next, just write it down in the comment section and I'll make sure to try and build whatever you guys suggest.